when I'm thinking about what to do next for our business, I really want to focus on things that can make a huge impact, you know, not just another feature or another small improvement, things that can really move the needle and change our business and help us, you know, grow and, and you know, move to the next level. And one of those things that I'm considering right now is a partnership with Wix, since I understood that a lot of Prospero users have their personal website or portfolio website on Wix and they would love to have their proposal as part of their website like on their custom domain as a page on their website and since Wix has an app store uh, I thought that maybe it might be an interesting idea to develop Prospero as an app for Wix you know they've got like tens of millions of users and if that works out that really might be a game changer for us so I'm heading to their Tel Aviv office right now. Gonna meet the business development uh, team there and uh, discuss what does it mean to build an app for weeks. See if that makes sense for us. So that was a very good meeting with the head of the up marketing biz dev and I, she really helped me to understand kind of the pros and cons of trying to do this partnership and implement this idea and the main pro as I was thinking is getting free traffic from the tens of millions of users who are using uh, Wix and install some of their uh, app market and so that's obviously a good thing but I kind of imagine that like huge traffic from there would be kind of like maybe tens of thousands of installs per month but she said it was more likely to be thousands and even in the low thousands and that's actually not very far from what we get to Prospero today even without doing a lot of marketing so that kind of puts it in the position of is this such a big opportunity as I thought and maybe it's not as big as opportunity as I thought the con is that you have to work with them in order to develop the app and follow their standards and that procedure is going to take about six months which is a lot of time for you know a startup that's trying to really move fast and, and develop new features and improve the product um, also obviously they're taking like 30 percent just like any app store the apple app store or the google they're taking 30 percent of the revenue and in general she told me that the apps that work well in the week store have much lower price point than the prices that we had and so when i think about this even if we get more traffic but lower our prices that doesn't really put us in a much better position than we are right now so my gut feeling tells me that um, we're at least gonna put the, this opportunity on hold right now. So I'm happy I did this, I'm happy I took this meeting and I actually initiated the meeting. But, uh, but I think that thinking about this right now might not be an amazing opportunity. Anyway, heading to a client's office right now, some meetings, and then the weekend. <music> Got so engaged at the work at my client's office that I actually forgot to vlog. Been working on taking a huge project that we did and try to create a design system around it in Sketch, you know, creating everything, uh, turning it into symbols and nested symbols and making everything uh, into components that we can reuse and keep everything in sync. Anyway, it's a bit complicated and it makes me really happy because just this morning i saw that envision acquired a company that does just that and they're about to release in december um envision i they think they call it design system manager which i'm really looking forward to using that i signed up for the early access so i'm really uh, excited to have that as a tool because managing versions and design systems anyway it's a big mess Heading home to pick up my son from the kindergarten, hang out for a little bit, and then the weekend. Hope you guys have a great one, and uh, I'll catch you next week.